have you guys gotten to the time jump part of the storyline yet? Almost uh, next week we start the time jump. It's actually seven years later, which is crazy. Ooh. Do you genuinely believe that? It's the Manolo Blahnik fits. Riverdale is back. You guys are filming season five right now. I was so excited to see you on set in front of Pops. What's the vibe like for season five as you guys are, are trying to film amidst the background of the pandemic? It's a little much. The vibe is good. I think everyone's like, you know, are we ever going to go back to work kind of thing? But normally we'd be shooting in July. Yeah. So we didn't start till, you know, end of September. So I think everyone's just kind of happy to be working again. Also, it's a little hard because like, I, you know, you can see I'm in Canada. You can't leave once you're here. So normally we're all used to like doing, you know, have a couple days off and fly back to LA for the weekend. You can't mm -hmm. go. You can't go. Once you're here, that's it. And we had to quarantine and for two weeks in the hotel room and it's a, it's a it's a lot but you know people are really excited about us coming back and i'm really happy that we can do that and and i'm grateful for the work you know and plus i'm only recurring this year so i can they can put all my stuff at once i get to go home for a chunk come back for a chunk um because you know i'm working on other stuff and it's mm -hmm. it's 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 actually working out fairly well so i can't really complain well, I'm just so excited that we are getting you for season five, because like you said, you're now recurring this season because you were going to be done after season four. And I think I broke the news with Roberto that he was going to ask to bring you back because we had some leftover Hermione business to wrap up. Yes. Take me through that journey. What was what was causing you to want to step away from Riverdale and what brought you back? Um, OK, so how do I put this? It's a good question, Leanne. Um, uh, Is it that Riverdale's become a little much? No, it wasn't okay. necessarily a choice. Okay. Was, oh, well, then that makes me upset. <laughs> it's just kind of what happens. And okay, let me. How about how about this? You know me. How about I paint this picture? They were going to be doing the time jump for season five, and they said they wanted to focus on the younger actors, and okay. that they. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. All right. So now we're on the same page a little bit. So now that we are getting to see Hermione in season five, because you guys do need to wrap up that storyline before the time jump, what can we expect from her? Well, one of the things that was really, really important for me, um, if I was going to come back and, and wrap things up or, or do some more episodes, was that Hermione stick up for herself. It was really bothering me that she was in, for all sense and purposes, kind of an abusive relationship. And she changed who she was mm -hmm. to be with Hiram. And, you know, not that she's innocent, but it bothered me. Yeah. It bothered me just as a woman. You know, I wanted to see her have some strength and some power and stand on her own two feet and not be stupid, to, for lack of a better word. <laughs> so that was really important to me and Roberto, um, really honored that and I'm very happy about what I'm doing so far. So a word of advice, get back in line with this family because you are a lodge before anything else. Have you guys gotten to the time jump part of the storyline yet? Almost uh, next week we start the time jump. Please tell me we're gonna see Hermione in the time jump. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. What can you tease? Um, She doesn't look that different. <laughs> because you don't age. <laughs> I was trying to think of like, what do I want to do? And I was like, nothing. This woman has all the money in the world. I'm sure she gets everything done. I'm like, it's fine. What can you tease about what Hermione's daughter is up to? What is Veronica like five years later? It's when Barnum she, um, it's actually like seven years later, which is crazy. Ooh, I know. I like that. I, know. I would say what I can tease is that, you know, and it's true about life. When you're a teenager, relationships you're, are very complicate, complicated, right? And they get sometimes too serious, or you're not sure if you like this one, or you like that one. Well, that follows you along as you grow up, and it doesn't necessarily get easier. And we will see that with, um, we'll see that with Brock. Yeah. Well, can you tease about Hermione and uh, Hiram's dynamic? I want her to be free of him. <laughs> um, let's just say I'm on that same page, and. I think <laughs> I think uh, I'll leave it there. I love the fact that you posted a photo with you and Machen and Skeet and Molly. It warmed my heart so much. Um, can we expect to see more of those parent scenes together? Yeah, I believe so. I think so. I mean, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna do a time jump and you're gonna have parents involved, I think 
I think Riverdale will always bring them and kind of suck them back in, mm -hmm. in which case you'll see us together. But it was, I mean, it was great. That was the first day I'd seen everyone in, you know, since like February, mm -hmm. since we shut down. So it was really, it was really nice. It was a really nice reunion. Definitely. And, and not to bring the tone down, but I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the fact that it was what would have been Luke Perry's 54th birthday. It's so hard because I still drive on set and I, he's the first thing I think of because he was so much a part of my first season. You know, he was the driving force. It was just, you know, him and Veronica. And it's still, it's hard. I still do the double take of like, I, I, I it's hard. It's still hard. Yeah. Do you have a memory that you think about when it comes to Luke that crosses your mind more than others? So many. I would say, yeah, there was, during the pilot, we did this screening, right, um, mm -hmm. of the pilot and the kids, the kids, but the kids <laughs> were in the, sitting in the front row and, you know, and they didn't, no one knew what was going to happen with Riverdale or whatever. And me and Luke are sort of sitting together and like watching them and watching the screen and he leans over to me, he's like, they're the younger 90210, just watch. And he was right. It was amazing. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, so we are getting seven years ahead in Riverdale. We're going into season five. Contracts aside, how long do you think Riverdale will go on for? I mean, I would say at least two more years, if not more. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 really nice to be on a show that's so embraced by fans and Riverdale became sort of a phenomenon. And yeah. I, I can't imagine the network letting go of that too quick. Now, that being said, everyone signed a seven year contract. <laughs> so it'll depend on, you know, whether they want to come back or not. Exactly, exactly. Do you feel like season five is a bit more on track? Cause we really went off the rails there the last two seasons. Um, it's too, it's too soon to tell. Okay. I don't get the scripts ahead of time. I really, I don't. Like I, I literally have read four scripts and that's it. And I never know what's happening or what's going to happen. I have ideas, but that's about mm -hmm. it. So, you know, we'll see.